Shining again 2020. Are you shining again 2020? All oh, what that 2019 couldn't do, 2020 is going to do it. Every obstacle that came on your way, 2019, 2020 is removing it. Oh Lord, thank you. Father, we give you glory, Lord. You move mountains. You cause wars to fall with your power. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. We are standing here only because you make a way. You move mountains. Let your voice now. You move mountains. It is only here that has made way for us to do it. With your power, you perform. 2020, the Lord is going to perform miracles in your life. Ah, that's impossible. I am standing here only because you move you move mountains. You cause wars. Every wars are falling. Twenty twenty. You perform it. There is nothing that's impossible. We are standing here. Only because you, you move mountains. You cause wars to fall with your power. The Lord is performing miracles. 2020 is my year. That's it. That's impossible. I was standing here only because you made. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. We are standing here only because you made. We shot you. To five people this afternoon, and wish them happy new year for me. That the Lord has made way for us to meet 2020. The Lord has made a way for you 2020. The Lord has made way for us. I'm a fish up. Say, Lord, I made way for us last year. The Lord has made way for you. I fish your back. Don't know how, but you did it, Lord. You made our way. When we stand in here, only because you made, because you move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform. It is the Lord that has made way for us. The 
Lord has made way for us 2020. There is something only because you made you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we stand in only because you made and you move mountains. You cause walls to fall this year. Any mountains that is in front of you, miracles. There is. There is nothing that is impossible. impossible. I, I am standing here only because you made, because you made us. And the Lord made way for somebody in 2020. You made us. And the Lord made way for somebody. Actually, I don't know how he did it, but he has made a way. I know how, but I'm grateful, Lord. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did You made a way. Don't know how, but you made a way. I don't know how you made it, but he has made a way. Away for you. You, you made we don't care about what the demons and the principalities are we found the day. But the Lord has made a way for us. Ah. You, you made way. He has moved the mountains on behalf. You, you made way. Ah, the crooked way the Lord has made it straight this year. You, For me, 2020. You, you made away. Because you move mountains, you, you cause walls to fall when your power you have For lazy people, those that are lazy, they cannot see the hand of the Lord this year. Hey, hey, hey! For when I think about Jesus, what He has done for us, I can just only give Him praise. Place like the house of the Lord. Mountains are moving. Mountains are healing. And I am standing here oh, only because.
We are here because you made a way. It is only you that can make a way where there seems to be no way. Even in the roadway in the wilderness, you made a way for your people. You are the only God that can pass through rivers and waters. Until today, nobody can trace your footsteps. What a mighty God that you are. You speak and the wind obeys. You speak and the storm sees. You speak and every demonic mouth shut. You speak and all demonic eyes got blind. We thank you for hiding us from the hands of unreasonable men and unreasonable people. Thank you for keeping us and preparing us for 2020. Mighty is your name. Wonderful is your name. King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are all the ancient of all the days. You are the lilies of the valleys. You are I am that I am. You are the rose of all shalom. King of glory. I stand as I always stood. As you have been helping from many years to today. And I ask for only one thing master this afternoon. That you grant me the lips of a prudent. And again, and a tongue of an oracle. To speak the immortality of your council 2020. Set the captives free. Deliver the oppressed. Preach the good news to the poor. And Lord, those that hearts have been broken, must I heal them. Let this year be a year of testimony. As you expand your people in all areas of their lives. We pray that God, any day, any day that we come to this auditorium, there will be a reason to praise you. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Master. Indeed, you are the one and the only God that we know. You have moved the mountains on our behalf. You have let every demonic powers fall. And if you have made a way for us, if, Master, you have made a way for us, what at all shall we render unto you? This afternoon we lift up our voice and we praise your majesty. Let our name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, put us together as we sit down. Hallelujah. Let me take this opportunity to wish all of you once again a happy new year. For the sake of those people that were not here 31st night when we cross over to 2020. We wish you a happy and a prosperous new year. Hallelujah. This year, I want you to slap your wife, your husband, that beside you. Tell them, my sister, you are not going to remain the same. Refuse to remain the same. Say, don't accept it. How people define you 2019 is over. I'm now a different person altogether. Hallelujah. Let me see if, if I can work it with you within 10, 15 minutes and I'll leave you. <laughs> because we are still expanding. Hallelujah. The Lord declared unto us last week that 2020, he has captured it as a year of expansion. And the spiritual symbolic of the number 20 simply means the circles of completeness. And as many that have waited on God for so many years, this time is a perfect period of waiting. I'll be very glad if you can check the case for me behind there. Today marks the first Sunday of the year 2020. And the success of the day cast its shadows in the morning. How you commence the year with is the same way it's going to go with you. Though that I started sleeping, I tell you, there's a 19 of sleep. If I'm not careful, you sleep till December. Though that I started lying, it's a 19 of lying. Though that I started deceiving people, if I'm not careful, you are going to continue like that to the end of the year. So it's better come to a place of race. A place of worship. And a place of having time with your maker. 
All that that we are seeing, a time is coming. We are going to leave everything behind. Hallelujah. But this year, I want to challenge you and challenge you that you are not going to remain the same. As a matter of fact, if you don't change, change will change you. Because the year is so powerful to change. Therefore, if you yourself, you are not ready to change, change will change you. The only thing that cannot change itself is change. Therefore, if you decide not to change, the change itself will change you. Hallelujah. Change is constant. And either you run 2020 or 2020 runs you. I don't know where you are coming from, but as I'm standing here right now, mama came from kitchen around 1 a.m. And when she came, I was doing like this. He says, what kind of gymnastic is that? I says, I am expanding. <laughs> because I read part of the scriptures and say, stretch forth the cord. Stretch it. So immediately I read it, I stood up and I was stretching. Isaiah chapter 54, verse number 2. If what I did was wrong. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2. Enlarge the sight of your tent to make room for more children. Let's say for more children. Hey. This year, the name shark anointing, it has nothing to do with monopause or andropos. The possibility of you conceiving another child is 100%. No, what expansion are we talking about? We are reading Bible. He says, make more room. May you create more kingdom Zima. Because the Bible is good. You need not to do anything with your husband or your wife. Don't do anything with him. You just jump over her. She will be pregnant. Hallelujah. Because it is a grace that is not what you are doing, but what he has destined for his children. He says, make more room for your children. Oh Lord, I thank you. Stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Say, I am stretching my dwellings in the name of Jesus. How do you stretch? How do you stretch? If your neighbor that is sitting beside you is playing gentle or lady, there is something wrong with him. We, I am stretching. I am stretching my dwellings. I am stretching my curtains. As a matter of fact, I will be stretched. Hallelujah. And this is what I read. And 1 a.m. I was doing it. Because the Bible said that I should do it. And Mama can say that what is this man doing? I say, I am expanding. Your business will stretch. Your family will stretch. Your ministerial life will stretch. Your anointing will stretch. Your grace will stretch. Your wisdom will stretch. Your children will stretch. Anything that your hands will lay hand on will stretch 2020. Do not spare them. This is why the challenge is. Say 2020, I will spare any opportunity that comes on my way. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things in life. When it comes in your life, you never see it again. One, opportunity. There are certain opportunities that you are going to encounter 20 years until you are not going to see it again. Therefore, the scripture said that don't spare it. Don't give a second chance. Don't give a second thought. Don't it, just make very good use of it. Two, time. 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 On the faith, today's faith was this. Look at where I'm going now. I'm, I'm still expanding the days. On the faith, January 2020, you are not going to see it again. Therefore, if you spare today, the possibility of you not seeing this very day, nobody can now write a date of 14th December 2019. That date is due up, past and gone. So when 
the time comes, do not spare it. We are reading Bible. It is there in the Bible. It says, spare them not. When the time of expansion comes, don't spare it. Open it. Hallelujah. And then he says, lengthen your tent ropes. And that is where that I came. He says, I should lengthen it. It means I need to add something to it. If I was able to make only one pole, I need to continue to make two, three, four, five. I must make sure that I stretch it. Don't let the abilities be quell. Don't hide behind realities. And don't do below your abilities and your divine capacities. Any talent, any grace, any gift that God has given to you. This year is a year of stretching it. Hallelujah. If you've never in your life looked at the eyeballs of your wife to tell her, baby, you look very beautiful. Try. Because let me make stands here because we are going to we are going to put what you call sticks. We will stick it in a way that nothing can let it be pushed out. Nothing can break it. As a matter of fact, you have a support both left and right. And nothing can let it come out. Hallelujah. That the way to stick something. And if you are sticking, you use right materials to stick. Don't lean on people that are weak. Don't lean on people that don't know anything. Love to move with people that know something. Don't go on with people that cannot help you, ladies and gentlemen. If you happy to stick your life with people that lives don't see any productivity, 2020, such people will still let you go back. Therefore, sticks well on people that are grounded and solid. Hallelujah. We had ministers meeting yesterday. And when Archbishop was speaking, I laughed so much in my life. The truth is that my whole life, none of my friends is older, is younger than me. I take only old friends. Anybody you see that I talk to, he's above me. Because I want to tap something from them. You, you misses nothing. You have got yourself to misses nothing. And sister nothing. And brother nothing. What do you expect? <laughs> Stick yourself with people that when you are falling, they can help you to stand. It is a big rivers that we run to, not small rivers. There is a day that is going to be called a dry season. When you get yourself into a small water and dry season comes, where will you be? And he says that make your pets, your stakes firm in the ground. The strongest ground that you need, 2020, is the word of God. Amen. And without the word, he did nothing. And everything that he made, he made it in the word. Therefore, if you really want to be solid here on this earth, I suggest to you, don't miss Wednesday Bible studies. It's not meant for the ministers alone. You want to be strong. You want to be firm. With what? Conquest that gospel. Makes you weak. If you really want to gospel and really gossip, gossip, gossip the gospel. They are all gossip. But let the gospel be what? Gossip. If you really want to be solid and firm on the ground, you need nothing but the word of God. Therefore, Wednesday, I'm inviting all of you. I want to see the same number. I want to see the same crowd. Because that is the first thing we need. We need. If not, we are coming to verse number three. There's another word there that we are going to see. Verse three. He said that, and you shall expand. If you are well established, give me the New KJ version. If you are well established, then you shall expand. Because if I bring expansion right now here and you are not firm, it will shake you. 
There are certain people, when they, I give them 50 million euro right now, they'll, go, they'll get mad. Because they won't know what to do with the money. But some of us, the money is even already finished spent before it comes. Hallelujah. Because I know what to do with the money already before the money came. As a matter of fact, the money itself is afraid of me. I am not afraid of the money. But there are certain people, look at how they move even 50 euro out. You are not grounded. May you be grounded 2020. May you never be afraid of anything. Hallelujah. And you shall expand to the right. And you will expand to the left. Anywhere you go, I'm going to see what? Expansion. Therefore, may somebody receive the anointing of May 2020. May everything concerning your life see divine multiplication. I was lying down. And I said, the Lord told me, do you know where you got the word expansion from? I said, this is big mystery for me. He said, you know, the word expansion, we got from the Latin word called expandiri. And the word expandiri means to spread out. Nothing of you is going to remain where it must be. You need to be spread out. Hallelujah. So actually, I don't want you to be walking this year like this. I want you to walk like this. Walk free. Because if you walk like this, you cannot see the word spread out. And it starts with the word X. That is out. May you be out from your fears, from your limitations, from your local way of thinking and enter into an international thinking. Hallelujah. That is the word expansion. Because there are certain areas in life if you really want to see the increase, you must break every protocol of nationalism and tribalism and then legalism and protocols. There are certain level in life, if you really want to reach, you must break certain things. So the first thing is to come out. That is X. If you don't come out and you still want to remain, save, save, save. Say, I can assure you what we should expect by the end of the year. Brother, same is what you are going to get. So the first word is X, that is out. And the pandari is to stretch out, to come out, to spread out, and to spread out, to spread out, to spread out. I wanted to teach something, but for the sake of my time, I'm going to continue next week. If you really want to expand in life, there are certain obstacles. And as I was teaching the all night, even normal mathematics, to expand from any figures with X and Y, you need to break the bracket. If you really want to get a right answer, but you need to do it carefully. Because if you don't know where to remove the bracket first, and then you remove the bracket anyhow, there's going to be a problem. That is what you call the parenthesis. I will teach you all this, don't worry. There are demonic brackets in our lives that we need to break down for us to be free. Hallelujah. Because there are certain spoken words in certain people, their lives, their families, either from a mama, father, even your own wife sometimes intimidates you. But this year we break them. Sometimes our wives intimidate us. They are, not, they are not part of this church. They are not part of this church. Let me go here, people. Sometimes there are certain men, when their wives are coming, their husbands are coming up. And their wives are coming up. It's a problem for them. What strong of spirit is this? This year, your wife will respond. The husbands will expand. Hallelujah. There are certain things in the algebra that look the same. It is similar, but they are not the same. We need to break. You can never say X, Y. X is X and Y is Y. Two is two and four is four. We look the same in the bracket. 
But for me to be able to spread it, I must be able to break off. Hallelujah. May somebody be break off 2020. It looked the same. But it's not. Look at something here now. There are certain limitations that maybe it has been said in the family that nobody exceeds this line. But I see you leaping over that line. Amen. Jumping over that line. Amen. Jumping over that limitation. I see somebody accelerating 2020. I see somebody going higher 2020. There is no limitations for you. I check another word for expansion. And I saw words like, I am going to be balloon. I'm going to be escalate. And I'm going to be skyrocket. So where is your where is your limitation? May somebody go according to the will of God. Hallelujah. The hands of CCC has commenced this. And the hands of CCC shall finish it. May the Lord be with you. Keep you and protect you this year. Lift you to where he wants you to be. May you never be disadvantaged. May you never be discouraged. May the Lord God Almighty guide you and lead you by divine power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pray for the tithe and the offering people. Today is love feast. Tomorrow we are going to commence the 14 days. But today eat. Today eat. I have spiritual 20 prophetic promulgates. That I am declaring 2020. And everything concerning your life will experience these spiritual declarations. The last one was for you to have upper hand, isn't it? How many of you were here? You will have upper hand. This year you have upper hand. I wanted to give you about four today. But I've, I've, I'm smelling the aroma of the food already. So the mind is gone somewhere. But in the time of fasting and prayer, we are going to declare all of them one by one. Those that were not here 31st night, may you have upper hand. May you have a divine upper hand. May you have audacity, ability to speak like a man, ability to speak like a woman. Hallelujah. May you have audacity. May you have audacity. You have audacity. For you to be able to see that you have been extended from one life to the other. You need dominion. You need dominion. Shall you stretch forth our hands towards our brothers and sisters that are giving today? Pray that God bless them. Expansion we declare upon their lives. Precious ones, according to Holy Scriptures, it is written that bring all the tithe into the storehouse of God that there may be food in my house, says the Lord God Almighty, and try me now in thee, says the Lord of hosts. If I'm not going to open for you the windows of harvest and pour up for you such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. And I'm going to use this tithe to rebuke the devourer for your sakes. So that your land will bear fruit. And all nations, all streets, all cottage, all families, every society will call you a blessed child. May the Lord God Almighty watch over his word. And perform in your lives, even now and forever, in Jesus' name.